Hello, it's Peter Rossthorn, and I'm back to looking at onboarding the non-technical Open Badges Infrastructure Implementer. Um, I'm into the second of a series of uh, screencasts talking about the technical prerequisites of, of um, beginning to implement Open Badges. Um, in the previous screencast, I, I spoke to uh, using JavaScript. Uh, in this particular screencast, I am going to be talking about the technology stack um, or stacks, depending on which role you are in. Um, the idea being is that uh, if you're an issuer, an earner, or a displayer, there are different technology considerations that you're going to be needing to make. Uh, this discussion is more at a logical perspective than looking at the uh, server infrastructure, which will be the follow-up screencast. Uh, but this one is mostly looking at things from a sort of a logical perspective about the technology stack you require. Um, as an issuer, you're going to be having some way of issuing badges on the internet. Um, if you are not going to be using one of the existing sort of uh, server infrastructures or, or some of the issuers or that are emerging like Open Badger or uh, Badges, um, you are going to need your own server. So if you use one of those existing services, you can use their server. Uh, but if you're going to be implementing the ability to be an issuer uh, and that works from your own uh, server infrastructure, um, you're going to need to set up a little bit of software, make sure that you have a web server available to you, you have the ability to host web pages, uh, and the ability to have JavaScript running on your website. Uh, also, if you are going to be an issuer and you're issuing badges from uh, within Drupal or WordPress um, or your learning management system, you are going to be able to host uh, those server uh, infrastructures along with including the modules that will issue badges. So from a, an issuer perspective, uh, there is uh, some technology that you're going to need to know uh, and you're going to need to have some server infrastructure to support your issuing. Um, from a logical perspective, you know, the earner is probably the least complicated uh, of the three roles. Um, the earner really uh, on is only going to need to have internet access and some way of being able to present their badges. Um, they could actually just use a displayer and present their badges within the displayer, um, but uh, some earners may want to have a little bit more control over where their badges are being displayed and, and, and how they're being displayed. Um, the one thing that you can do with open badges is that you could have a widget that will display in your own blog, uh, WordPress blog or on Blogger. Um, there's also the ability to, to embed this JavaScript or HTML into a web page. So uh, from an earner perspective, you don't really need a lot of server infrastructure. In fact, you can get away with having none. Um, but if you want to be able to have a little bit more control over, over where they're displayed and how they're displayed, um, you're going to need to to have your own blog set up or, or your own website. But uh, that doesn't mean that you need to have your own server infrastructure. It just means that you need to have your own blog or some way of hosting web pages. Um, if you are going to be a displayer, um, the the technology infrastructure or the sort of the technology stack that you're going to require um, is similar to what the issuer has. Um, from a displayer perspective, uh, you're on the internet, you're going to need some server infrastructure and you're going to need to be able to host uh, sort of widgets or, or some sort of way of calling the displayer API so that you could display um, a person's badges on your site. So let's say for example if you were a Facebook or a Google Plus and you were wanting to be able to um, have a, a widget on the screen that displayed the particular the particular user's badges. Uh, you're going to need some servers um, or a server to be able to run some of the code or, or or some JavaScript or that sort of idea to be able to make the call to the displayer API to be able to uh, set the references to the badges and to be able to get the images and display the badges. So from a from a technology stack perspective. Um, all all the roles of displayer, earner, and issuer, um, it is assumed that they are all on the internet. 
um, from a perspective of, of sort of infrastructure, um, the issuer and the displayer will need a little bit of server infrastructure resources, um, depending on how they're going to display the badges. Uh, from an earner perspective, uh, you can keep it really simple and, and just rely on, on the displayer to display your badges, um, but you may want a little bit more uh, control over look and feel of, of the environment your badges are being displayed in, uh, and you may want a little bit more than that. So. Um, as you go down the path of the technical prerequisites, you need to think about uh, your role as an issuer, an earner, or a displayer. And within those roles, you need to know what sort of server infrastructure you're going to need to do that, depending on how uh, many services you're going to be offering.